Hello, Jeff Brooks here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Movie 2, the second part. About already Batman and Metal Beard, which includes two minifigures, technically three if you count Metal Beard. And has 168 pieces, retails for $20 in the United States. And what's really odd here is that they gave me an extra instruction booklet for no reason. And also, they gave me an extra bag, too. I want proof. See the small beard's face right there. And that's the apocalypse bird guy right there. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, I have to contact Lego and see if anybody had missing an instruction booklet and a bag, too. But let's get on to those minifigures. Okay, so our first minifigure up is it fantastic new Batman minifigure and the reason why I want to call it fantastic is because of this new shoulder pad piece so if you don't have the set yet basically the regular shoulder pad part is a hard plastic which is phenomenal but the tires on this is a rubber so not so not only did they dual mold it but they just freaking made it two different types of material of course, his cape's a little uh, broken up a little bit here. Don't get too stringed up with that because um, it could break. But if you take off this uh, classic cowl, you see he's got the same exact face from the Lego Batman movie with a more shocked look, I guess. And then on the back, he has just a more angry expression. And when we take off those, all those neck attachments, he has all this printing on him, which kind of reminds me of like that Tartan Batman that released in 2017 with that one book. But I really like this design. I love the printing on the legs. And the only other way you can get this figure is with that big Apocalypse Berg set, which is how much money? Like 300, 350 bucks. So this is actually pretty generous by Lego. If you take a look, the one thing that was exclusive to from that one is how the fact he doesn't have dual molded arms here the the big apocalypse Berg set has dual mold arms this one does not but i don't care i mean it looks fine just i would have rather had this but you know i get it so apparently this figure's name is maddox which the face is from the lego ninjago movie and he has this big long sphere when i take that off you can see he has printing all over his torso and legs has two different colors for legs as well, which are very nice, and I do like that back printing there. He does have a shoulder pad piece, which has some spikes right there, which I think is a new mold if I'm not mistaken, so tell me in the comments if that's right or not. Next up is this little star piece. It came also in the Sweet Mayhem's Star Starship, and the Metal Beard's Heavy Motor Trike. That's the only set I haven't built yet, so stay tuned. But I like this design, I like that printed face, and I'm excited to see what people use for this star piece, which is a new mold altogether as well for 2019. And so here is Metalbeard, I technically consider him, I guess, a character. I, this is apparently his crab mech form. You see, this one is pretty difficult to stand up. I do not like that because you see it falls over pretty easily. It does not have EC pieces, can also fall off of it all the time as well. I mean, I like how they use the swords here, and also the, the stethoscope, but it just, it doesn't work for feet, because you see, he can't stand up properly, and I do not like that. However, the design of this, however, is very well done, I like, I mean, I like it, it's just like, it's terrible to pose. He also has a little chainsaw right here, which can be posed around, and then also this little sword as well. And even a little lookout on like a pirate ship or something. And then on when you open his mouth right there, there's uh, organ pieces inside of there as well. And the face I'm pretty sure is the same as the poly bag. If I'm not mistaken, I have reviewed that as well. So you can go check that video out. And he also has some hooks for hands. So, I mean, yeah, it's a cool looking design. It's just hard to get to stand up. Oh, well, there you go. It works now. So I guess... You just have, there's just like a specific way, you just have to keep it up, that's all. And so, 
the other build for this is very weird as well. This is Batman's, I guess, battle station or whatever, whatever you want to call this. I don't know, this design is really weird. You have nothing going on here. I guess you could put like the battle rings on those hinges right there. They also have a ladder, so I guess Batman could climb up and he only fits on these two studs right there. Oh, so he fits flipping swords on there. Ah, uh, this doesn't even make any sense at all. You also have these, this Tevic piece right here, which can move up and down this sign, which is a new print, and it says, you're welcome, printed on it. And I like, I mean, I like that design. It's pretty shiny as well, but it's just, it's so weird. It also has these bat pieces right there, and you see that whole part can just fly off. But, I mean, I like the design of it. I mean, I don't even... I mean, I like it. It's just, it's just so weird. It also has a small ugly rock piece at its base. I don't know. It's just... it's. I get it. It's a throw-in. But, like, what's the point? Honestly. I guess they want to have something to do for the battle-ready Batman. Like, I don't know what he's supposed to attack. I guess when someone tries to come after him, I guess he just... pushes down the ladder, like, boom. And then a person's like, oh... Like, oh wow, you saved me, and then he flips this up and he's like, you're welcome. The box for this is the same size as Queen Wherever I Want to Be's box, and it, I mean, it's just a weird design altogether. On the back, it shows the play features, and I guess I was right. There you go. You see, it does hold the um, stuff in there. And it has the figures' names on those as well, and I just like, I like how it's spelled. It's spelled... Barbe de Metal, Barbara Metallica. Metallica? I like Metallica. So, that's pretty cool. I said they gave us two instruction booklets, so that's pretty interesting. It has, I do not like this, how it has like the numbered bags in there. I thought that was pretty pointless. Sadly, there's no ads in here besides how you can scan it to put your instructions on your Lego Life uh, app. And so, yeah, I think this is probably the weirdest set out of all the LEGO Movie 2 sets, even with the party bus in mind, and it's just, I don't know, it's just so weird, I don't, I don't really like the builds for this, like, don't get me wrong, I like the build for Metal Beard, I think that's pretty good, I just don't like how unstable it is, like, if I try to touch it once, you see, I touch it twice, you see, not, you see, even his head can pop out of his metal beard, I guess. Which can be pretty annoying, and I do not like having to get that up over and over again. That's pretty annoying, if you get what I'm saying. So, also for Batman, it's just, oh. Like, that's really bad. I do not like the design of his station, I guess. It's just so awkward, in my opinion. I, I'm, they really should have stepped up their game with the Batman. I mean, I get it. The shoulder pad piece probably costs a lot of money by itself to make, so I get it. They don't want to make too many new parts and whatever to make a good-looking station. But no, they could have made this a good little build. Like, if this was made out of other pieces, I probably would have liked it. And I do like the 2x4 print on there that says, You're welcome. And... I do like the Maddox figure, and the star is a pretty easy way to get that if you can't afford the Sweet Mayhem to start Starship. It's just, ugh. I get, there's a lot of stuff in here for 20 bucks, so I highly recommend it. It's just like, I don't know. It's unstable. The main reason you want to buy a set is for the Batman figure. And if you want a cheap way to get Metal Beard, there you go. But you can also get him in that poly bag, but I get it. Not everyone can get it, because there's not many Walmarts outside of America, so. I kind of understand that. That's a whole to rate this set a B minus. It's not the best of the cheap sets, it, but it's still pretty good for the figures. But that's it for this video. If you like, if you want to see more Lego Movie 2 reviews, I have a bunch more on this channel and a bunch more on the way. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.